today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about some of the outside factors that can affect our design work. A lot of what I'm going to be talking about is specific to the theatrical industry, but I think that a lot of the themes and concepts we'll discuss can pretty easily transfer into other genres of work. So in my opinion, we have a handful of major types of pinches that we can all get in when working in this world, right? Uh, my, my kind of four main categories of those are financial, time, equipment, and personnel. Of course, those are all related and they all kind of, you know, one affects the other. Uh, you, you know, if you don't have enough money, you're not going to have enough equipment. You don't have enough people that you don't have time. You might have enough people. All those things are inter interrelated, but I think that they can all be, you can sum almost any shortage or pinch that we can find ourselves in into one of these four main categories. So I'm sure most of you have seen a graphic like this before, right? Pick two of these, good, fast, cheap. Uh, all three of them uh, don't exist. Right. So how many of you before have been asked, you know, two days before a thing, can you do a make this really great design and happen? Can you do it for a hundred bucks? It's not going to happen. Right. You can't have all three of those things at once. You're going to have to pick two of them. So if you've never seen this graphic before, I highly recommend you print it and put it up in your in your shops. Uh, so when we start to deal with pinches, at least in my work, I start out by asking myself and my team a few important questions. The first thing we need to do is determine the needs of the project itself. So sometimes that means, usually that means what do we need to tell this story? So most of the work I do is in the theater world. And so it's all about telling a story. It's all about telling the story of the script, telling the, the story that the director is trying to tell, et cetera, et cetera. So that is kind of informing all of the decisions I'm going to make. The biggest thing that I find that I start asking myself is what do we want versus what do we need and want and need are those are the two key takeaway words there. Right. So there are certain things that the, that the show is going to need that the design is going to need. And then there's going to be other things that we as a designer want, but aren't necessarily needs of the show. Sometimes some of the things that we want will actually make some of those things that we need harder to accomplish. A good example of that is let's say, you know, I've got this idea for this really cool backlight system, but it's not necessarily essential for the show. And I start looking at it and, you know, it's we're in the middle of load in and it hasn't been hung yet. And I'm looking at the time, I'm looking at the clock. And meanwhile, other things that are more important in that system 